everyone, um, this is LaToya, uh, just teaching the Greek alphabet for Bible language tools. To access the PowerPoint for this lesson, what you'd want to do is you'd want to go to our Moodle Cloud site, amanabibleinstitute.moodlecloud.com. You'd want to click on the Bible language tools course, and then you'd want to go ahead and um, access the PowerPoint from here. Just as a reminder, we do have a reading site. If you did not read the readings from this past Saturday, you can locate them right here in the Bible Language Tools reading site. What I'd recommend is, um, one moment, let's let it think. It's taking a while to think today. Here we are. So I'd recommend that you just copy this password, click on this link, and then just paste it in the Bible Language Tools passcode box. And it should take you right over to the, the reading site. All of the readings uh, should be accessed through the textbooks that I'd like you guys to purchase. Um, I know it sucks to have to purchase textbooks, but it's really for your own good and for the uh, the good of the publisher. Um, one thing that's really uh, problematic is, you know, copying or scanning multiple pages from a publisher. Um, in this case, it would have been about half of each book, and that will be very detrimental to the publisher. So out of respect for the publisher, I do have to have you purchase those books. But they're also really excellent books that will make for a really great library. So I, I think you, it would be a, a plus to purchase them. They're about $20 through Amazon. So um, there's also the fonts for Hebrew and Greek. You definitely, every single one of you, want to be want to um, click on the fonts for Hebrew language um, and the Greek language. You want to go scroll all the way down to the bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you want to download Spionic and SP Tiberian. They're the last two at the bottom of this list. You cannot see the Hebrew and Greek. Um, lettering in the PowerPoints without public without uh, downloading these fonts. So please do that before accessing the PowerPoint presentations. So we have Greek alphabet here. I already have it pulled up, so I'll go ahead and play it from here. So in this lesson, you'll be learning the Greek alphabet. Introduction to diphthongs and practice is given in another YouTube video that will be available in your course site shortly. So there are some things that you should know before we go through the alphabet. There are capital letters and lowercase letters, just like in the English language. The lowercase letters are way more important for reading the Greek New Testament than um, the capital letters. So I, I recommend that you learn both, but lowercase are more important, so make sure you spend a lot more time on that um, in, the, in the memorization portion. And then lastly, um, go to the capital letters. Alphabet is key to pronunciation, to proper pronunciation. If you can pronounce these letters correctly, you can pronounce uh, any Greek word correctly. And we're going to go through that shortly. But before that, I'd like to go ahead and take you over to this memory tool. Um, that's excellent for helping you memorize how to actually pronounce the uh, Greek alphabet. Now, just as a heads up, some of these letters are not pronounced correctly. It's really those letters that are pronounced with the iota, not the iota, but the iota. And we're going to go through that shortly, but it's just such a fun video to learn. Yes. Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, I, Yada, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Z, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Epsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega, Sir. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, I, Yada, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Z, Omicron, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Epsilon.
and stop there, but it's only a two minute clip and it's really great for helping you memorize the Greek alphabet. So let's get back to our PowerPoint presentation. So as mentioned before, there are a few letters um, that are pronounced incorrectly because of this letter right here. It's called the iota, but many people say iota. Um, but it's actually pronounced iota. So everything with this iota should be pronounced with the sound e, kind of like the two e's in feet. So this is kasi. Kasi is pronounced like the x in box or boxes, right? Um, and it's kasi, p, not pi, but p, phi, not phi, but phi, ki, c. Okay, so the letters of the alphabet are pronounced the way that they're um, that they sound. So alpha is the A sound. Beta has a B sound. Gamma has a G sound. P has a P sound. Omicron has a sound of a short O. Ah, kind of like you're saying father, like the A in father. Omicron. Tau has that T sound. Upsilon. This is actually pronounced long or short. So upsilon or upsilon. And then here, you know, Ada is a really great one to look at because, you know, you have these two E sounds, Epsilon and then Ada. The Ada sounds like the long A sound, right? It actually sounds like an A than um, an E. So I recommend that you go through this, use the video to help you pronounce it. And then you um, learn the lower two letters by difference the letter itself like omega okay so i'd recommend that you spend time tons of time uh tons of time uh, just memorizing this it would be alpha beta gamma delta epsilon beta eta beta iota kappa lambda mu nu chi omicron p rho sigma tau epsilon chi chi So, as mentioned, every letter is pronounced as the name of the letter. If you learn to pronounce the letter, you cannot go wrong. So, here we have some consonant clusters. Whenever you have a consonant cluster with a gamma, it only occurs in four letters. A gamma, a kappa, a kasi, or a ki. You're going to pronounce it nasally, like an angel, like the ng in angel. Um, it's not so important for you to know this. That's really with pronunciation. Really, you're just learning the alphabet so that you can have assistance with um, using Greek language tools. Um, and that's more important. Uh, it's important to learn it so that I'm able to help you use a Greek dictionary. It's like studying the English um dictionary or reading out of an English dictionary but not knowing the English language that will be extremely challenging so we're trying to get over that hurdle with the Greek language by teaching you the alphabet last but not least the lowercase sigma can occur in two forms either as a you know the symbol here a sigma or the symbol here looks like an s it's actually called a final sigma so here's an example in the word apostolos if you just write out what these words sound like, so that the alpha, a, P, a, a the P, a P, you know, O, S, T, O, L, O, S, and then just try to pronounce it that way, then you'll get the pronunciation, apostolos. This is actually the Greek word meaning apostle. Um, and as you see in the middle of the word, you know, you have this sigma, this form of the sig lowercase sigma, and then at the end of the word, you have the use of a final sigma. Whenever an S, a sigma is occurring at the end of the word, it has to have this form, a final sigma. We're going to go through diphthongs, some punctuation, 
and symbols and then some practice exercises in the next YouTube video. I'll also read this to you in Greek and give you the opportunity to actually do an exercise from home actually writing out what these letters sound like and reading them aloud and you can just text uh, check them according to um, either the way that I'm reading it in Greek or you can actually find a, a source online that will read the Greek to you and check it against that as well. So that's it for right now. Please go ahead and look at the vowels video and then the Hebrew alphabet video. Send me an email if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Amana Bible Institute at gmail.com.